Well, hey, Leo, what's going on? This is Solo69, and welcome to my channel. I am here for your June 2021 general reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever it falls into your chart. Um, I will be doing things a little differently this month, Leo, so bear with me as I'm going about my way. I definitely will be clarifying things differently. Um, with I'm going to be using the tattoo deck, tattoo tarot, to do some clarifications this go around. I am working on my um, clarification cards because, um, yeah, they got kidnapped. So, um, off that record, let's go ahead and keep pushing because the other shit is irrelevant. So, anyway, even though this may not um, resonate for all you Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, go ahead and check with your other placements and see what's popping off with those. And, um, yeah, so we know how that goes. If this doesn't resonate right now, just check back later also within the month because it might hit home then. So, Leo, let's go ahead and get into your message, okay? Like I said, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever it falls into your chart. Leo, we do have this um, new moon coming up around the 8th and the 10th, depending on where you are in the world, of course. Um, this gonna It's going to be a, a full solar eclipse, annual solar eclipse, so let's be prepared for that energy. Um, yeah, stepping out into that lim limelight, you may be a little bit shy, Leo, but get that ball rolling. It's all good. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into your room see what it is that the universe has for you lined up for this month. Let's see what's going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising up in this thing. Please like, subscribe, and share if you care to the channel. Very gracious. I do appreciate y'all taking out the time to rock with me, to get to know me, to listen to the readings, to collect the messages, and just chill for the entertainment of it all. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for looking into me and, uh, you know, letting me look out for you with the guidance, of course. <laughs> Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and your understanding. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see. Please show me the divine message that you have for Leo for the month of June 2021, please. Okay, I was about to say 2019, right? <laughs> so I do not have my years mixed up so there's definitely something that could have played a part in 2019 for some of you just gotta think back it may resonate it may not let's see what divine message do you have for Leo Sun Moon Rising for the month of June please show me alright so we got you are very close to achieving your goal, Leo. You need to know that whatever you got going on, this is right in your face, directed towards you. So you're very close to achieving whatever this is that's coming towards you. So just look for it. It's right in your face. You look up and it's there. So boom. Let's go ahead and see what this is talking about. Hmm. Leo, it is time for you to take action, baby. So we got this um, energy with this Aries energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Aries or have Aries highly aspected in your chart, of course. So, yeah, you could be dealing with the Aries. But whatever this is, this is time to go in for a flesh, put the head down and get the bucking around a little bit. Not saying that in a negative way, but it's definitely time to take action about some things. With this new moon energy coming in, this could be something definitely happening around the new moon. Whatever action that needs to be taken. Let's go ahead and check into it a little deeper and see what this is talking about. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and your understanding. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Mm -hmm. Glad I saw that. Some of you may be going through some changes, whether it's body changes. Some of you may be gaining weight. Some of you may be losing weight. Whatever your goal is being set to, looks like you're working that wonder. That's what's up. Let's go ahead and get the message for Leo. 
see what this time to take action is pertaining to for you. All right. So we got welcome in the new. Welcome the new Leo. I was going to say Neo. <laughs> Some of you could be actually a Neo fight. Some of you could actually be watching The Matrix. <laughs> Or, you know, some of you may need to watch The Matrix and pay attention to some of the um, signs and symbolizations that's going on within that movie. So if that's what's up, do take out the time and look at The Matrix, whether it's one, two, three, whichever sequel you want to watch. <laughs> Go for it. Anyway, we got Welcome to New, and this is also about, you know, um, stepping into something with a clear mind, a clear way of thinking, a new way of thinking, a sober way of thinking. Some of you may be putting down the alcohol. Some of you may be putting down the weed. Some of you may be putting down the cigarettes. Some of you may be putting down the cigars. I'm not ready to put down my cigar yet, so I don't think it's talking about me. But anyway, some of you could be just doing some things, bringing some different changes into your life and leaving things alone that does no longer, that just no longer serves you at all, Leo. So what we have here is moving. So now, I, I, first of all, I'm going to speak on the fact that I got two different energies coming out here. So once again, when I we see these more than one energies, it could be dealing with um, more than one situation. It could be... Um, the situations could be put together. This could have something to do with somebody over here. This could have something to do with somebody over there. So you just have to take it how it resonates. But we do have moving. Welcome to new. Some of you could be moving, moving to a new place, moving to a new city, moving into a new house, or just moving around, moving jobs, or whatever the case may be. But we're going to talk about it. We also got <laughs> end of an era. So that's exactly what we're dealing with, the end of a new era. I mean, an old era. So we can come in with a new way of being, a new way of thinking, a new way of living here. So we have end of an era here. That's really what's up. So let's see if we can get into... The storyline. Some of you are definitely um, quiet about some things, um, and some of you definitely have some real strong protection when it comes down to um, someone maybe um, cheating, lying, or stealing out of a situation. Here, this is for a new beginning that you got going on. Somebody could be really trying to um, prevent a new beginning from happening. Some of you may have to move out the way. Um, so you can be able to see something from what it is. Sometimes you have to step outside the element in order to see what's going on within the elements. You just have to take a window seat and be able to look um, and see exactly what's going on. But Leo, you're showing up with your strength and courage, showing that you will be able to conquer anything. And you could be connecting with someone this month, Leo, as well, for this new beginning that's coming into your life. Or you could just be connecting with more with yourself and, you know, situation. So whatever it is that you could be waiting on, you may just have be time to take action instead of waiting. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and understanding. This is for Leo. Can you go ahead and show me the storyline for Leo? Leo's um the rose colored glasses could be coming off of a situation and the tower could be coming down, baby. So let's get it. Please show me the storyline for Leo Sun Moon Rising for the month of June, please. So, Leo, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Son of Baskets. Sometimes this one would be seen with the Eight of Knives. So, someone could be trying to give you something, Leo, to keep you trapped in the situation. Somebody could be trying to hand you a message, some type of cup of something that can bring emotion to you, whether it's good or bad. Whatever this is, it could either bring enlightenment for you to move forward, or you could realize that someone is trying to put you in jail. Some of you could be actually getting a message about from someone in jail that may have stolen something something or something of that sort or someone could be actually going to jail or getting the message to go to jail about some type of thievery that they've been juggling around with or handling and doing some of you could actually have someone trying to just shit from what it's looking like steal something from you and keep you trapped in a position or a situation something uh, this is more like a mental prison issue or situation they're trying to keep you trapped in and it looks like you could be moving around and getting up out of this that, that energy 
So what we have here is strength in the three of baskets, both of them coming out in limbo. So what I am seeing here is that Leo... Someone is trying to take your strength from you. Someone is trying to take your celebration from you. So whether this is you doing this to someone or someone doing this to you. So you just have to take it how it resonates, of course. But what it's looking like here is showing up very strong energy. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Leo energy. Some of you could be a Leo Cancer Cups. Or some of you could have Cancer highly aspected in your chart. Or you could be dealing with another Leo or a Cancer or Aries for that sort. You don't have to be dealing with either one of those signs. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. But yeah, someone could definitely be trying to keep you trapped in a situation. Somebody could be trying to keep you trapped in a connection, um, keeping you out in the clouds because they want to they stay committed to you or want you to stay committed and loyal to them. Here. It's kind of strange. I'm a little jacked if you ask me. Okay, so, yeah, this is some enlightenment that could be coming in through for you about someone from the past, some type of connection that you were dealing with in the past, uh, maybe it was an ex, or this could just be past memories that's trying to come back to haunt you, um, but I do feel like someone from the past could be worried about your abundance worried about what you're doing to make you happy at this point in your life and no one should be concerned about your happiness but you unless they're happy for you but it looks like you could be looking to cut off someone from the past whether you have already cut them off or getting ready to cut them off leo so yeah because you're being moved into um a safe spot you're being moved into another situation you um, are being put under um you know, I was about to say surveillance. So some of you could actually um, be getting watched, surveyed, you know, watched by someone. So you may have to check for cameras or something like that. Or somebody could actually just be watching you to see what you got going on, whatever it is that you got going on in your life. That's crazy. So we got, yeah, we got a transformation that's coming in past issues, past situations, past thoughts, past memories. So thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Let's see what's popping off for Leo here. So when it comes to a time, it's time to take action. Like I say, it's time for you to take action into a situation, whatever that is. Let's go ahead and see if we can clarify it for you. Please clarify, it's time to take action. For Leo, this new moon energy is going to push you to go ahead and ram some shit down, do whatever it is that you need to do to push forward into this new era, into this new beginning, moving into welcoming the new. Like I say, you're very close to achieving your goals, so it's just time to move forward. And when a, when a ram is pushing forward, their head is down. You know, they're not concerned about what they see. They're just using their antlers to ram whatever the fuck it is out the way. So coming in with ram energy and lion energy, I don't think you're a force to be reckoned with, Leo. But they don't see it. Let's go. It's time to take action. Please clarify for Leo. Okay, we got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. This is some type of commitment. It could be a marriage. This could be um, some type of leadership, someone that's definitely in control of a situation here. This could be someone reaching the end of their stretch and looking for change, looking for change and moving forward, looking for change in a better direction, looking for change when it comes down to finally seeing the light of a situation and making it to the, um, like I say, the end of that era, finally getting to where you need to be, Leo. And we have the Knight of Cups coming in. This is the Page of Cups coming in. Someone could definitely like i say be offering trying to offer something towards you leo with this like we have the page of cups right here as well so yeah someone could definitely be trying to offer you something but you're looking like you may not want to take this offer someone could be um this could be overly exaggerated or this could be um 
just overly done. Somebody could be just going too far trying to give something to you or trying to stop you. And it looks like they are definitely committed to doing this. They're trying to be strategic. They do not have any emotions when it comes down to this. You could definitely be dealing with another Leo. Or Leo, this is you trying to show your strategic to a situation and remain guarded to keep yourself happy when it comes down to some type of commitment, when it comes down to some type of partnering up with someone, even working with someone, Leo. Someone could be trying to offer something to you, Leo, to keep you stuck. Period. And it's time to take action to this situation. You know, when it comes down to this offer, looking at it like, you know, somebody is committed to trying to give something to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may not want to accept this. Are you stuck trying to figure out should you accept this? But this is something that's kind of overdue here. Okay, so we have this other energy that was talking about moving. Moving, you could be traveling. You could just be moving to switching destinations, switching locations, moving jobs, whatever the case may be. Um, and like I say, this is something that you're doing to welcome the new that's bringing in a new clear mind, a new way of thinking, a new clear way of being to a situation. Yes, you are definitely walking away and leaving something behind here. Please clarify moving for Leo. Okay, just wanted to peek. So you got the, t uh, the the King of Pentacles wanting to peek out at you. I'm going to put it back. But, you know, this is a major stability that's on its way towards you, Leo. But you just got to leave something behind. Whether it's the way that you feel about something, your thoughts to a situation. Maybe it's an emotional message that may have came to you, Leo. It's just about moving away from that energy. Clarify moving for Leo, please. So yeah, this was some type of stretching with this nine of wands. You could be dealing with another Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius here. So what we got here is somebody that's probably sad about um, moving forward in the situation. Someone could be looking at the cup half empty. Someone could be looking at the cup half full. I've always said don't look at the cup half empty. Look at it more half full because it's more to fill up unless you just decide to tilt the whole cup over and say fuck it. But in this case right here, I'm seeing when it comes down to some type of commitment, some type of marriage, whatever it is that you're dealing with, someone could be sad about you walking away from a situation. Someone could, You could be sad about walking away from a situation. Some of you may have to move and just not feel too good or comfortable about this. Yeah, because there's a, a wheel that's not turning. Someone is trying to definitely leave someone stuck in a situation. Either you or someone else is very sad about um, not moving forward with something. And they feel like this is someone who could definitely be in jail or someone who's stuck in a mental prison, or stuck in a way of thinking about a situation, just kind of stuck in their mind about it, Leo. Now, this is this is your energy, Leo. It's time to come up out of this energy because you gotta you got to move forward. And, you know, even if it's sad, you may feel like you're stuck. You're not stuck. You just think you're stuck. You know, put yourself in a better position so you can get unstuck here because you're not fucking stuck. You just, you know, this is about moving forward, but this is time to take action and just let some things go that no longer serve you emotionally so you can get out of your mind and get on your wheel like you're supposed to, okay? Got to get out of your mind. Get out of those feelings. Let, let those feelings go. To the tears in the bucket. Fuck it. Take it to the stage. House party. <laughs> Some of you um, could definitely be dealing with a situation where you could be um, having a, a party or um, celebration of some sort here. Um, and someone may not want you to feel celebrated or something like that. So we have an end of an era that's here for you, Leo. Let's clarify the end of the era. Yeah, we do have someone that's wanting to give a situation, given to a situation here, but they're stuck 
you know, because in, in, in probably crying over spilled milk due to them being stuck with you not taking the offer. There's an offer don't on the table here. It doesn't look like it's being accepted and someone could just be sad about this and there could be no forward movement. And this could leave a person pretty stuck. Uh, clarify end of the era for Leo, please. Definitely did the dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you can have this aspect in your chart. It's just highlighted right now. I said I was going to try to stop talking and shuffling at the same time. Clearly, I'm still working on that. to see. So back to this nine of wands energy here, definitely standing in strong Leo, Aries and Sagittarius also. Okay. My bad about that. So anyway, like I say, there is something that's going on with this energy here, showing up and showing out. You could definitely be dealing with an air sign here that you could be committed to someone that's abrasive, really doesn't have any feelings to show more of a leader than a follower of some sort. Um, but this is someone who wants you to come crawl into them. Wow. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing. Wow. That was random. Okay. So with that being said, with this end of the era that's showing up, we have these energies that's coming in. We definitely have someone, a magician, someone was trying to manifest something. They got stuck trying to overly do something here. Definitely. Um, it could be in their feelings because they're kind of stuck with this energy where they overdid a situation and justice is here for this situation because someone was definitely trying to keep you stuck on your wheel where you was not able to turn and move, but justice is coming in. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or even a Libra. <clears throat> we do got victory that's coming in about someone getting out of jail to a situation, whether this is a mental prison or another prison, but we have victory here of maybe somebody going to jail as well. So we have, um, this energy is not made it in just yet, but it does look like it's on its way. Someone could be going to jail, Leo. Straight up. Mm-hmm. It's the end of the era, but meanwhile, someone else looks like they may be having victory and achieving some type of goals, achieving something that they're aiming for. It's good to reach for those stars. That's what I always say here. But yeah, for what it's looking like, yo, someone was trying to knock you off your fucking wheel while it was turning. And, you know, put like a you know, some type of jag. They could have been trying to flatten your tire shit. You know, some of you could be dealing with someone that was trying to flatten tires or you could have a tire out. You need to check your tires as well. Hmm. So let's see what we have here when it comes down to this offer with someone, you know, someone, like I say, I don't feel like you're really taking this offer or looking into it, but someone could be trying to take your strength away from you. Um, but you look like you're very strong, Leo, standing in your power here, in your energy. But let's clarify this strength and limbo for you. Mm, mm, mm. Someone was trying to definitely give you an offer or say something to you to take you off your A-game, to even make you come outside of yourself, maybe step outside of yourself to a situation. You know, misery loves company. That's some truth. For real. Yeah, this is enlightenment and success for you when it comes down to it. You've brought an ending into a situation here. You brought truth into a situation here when you were dealing with some type of flighty as energy. Could have been dealing with a cheater, someone that was definitely not. Um, they were waiting on ships to come in. They were even probably some of you could have been dealing with someone who was um, talking as if they could bring something towards you. 
as well, Leo, but it looks like it could have been um, a slow movement to a connection. That, and the only reason is because they see you leaving the nest and moving forward with your in your own way, Leo. That's what I'm catching here. So we got this nine of coins that came out in reverse, definitely feeling like someone was trying to... Um, um, manifest some things to knock you off your A-game. Um, this does feel like someone could have been wishing bad on you. Someone could have been saying things to speak against you or make you feel like you could not you know, build or do something on your own, like you needed them to be with you in order for you to survive or some shit. Some, somebody may feel like they can't believe you're making it without them. And this is the problem. Hmm. So let's clarify the three of baskets in the boat. Then we're going to get you some um, advice, okay? Can't nobody take you off your A game but you, Leo. So it's up to you if you let someone put you you know give you a message that can put you in the emotional state of mind and some some people could be just doing exactly that to just try to stop a flow or just do something to cause you to get in your feelings to lower your vibrations this is someone who who feels that you shouldn't be doing something by yourself or they want a part of your shit or a piece of the pie or feel like they're old this Clarify the three baskets and one more for me, oh, please. All right. Back to this nine of wands energy. It just will never fucking end, huh? Somebody is really at the end of their stretch. They're at the last motherfucking corner of this, whether it's you or someone else, Leo. Leo, this is your energy showing up, but it could be another fire sign, you know, trying to really battle with you in this situation here. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely wants to have a connection with you, Leo. Just strong connection here, but this is something that's past due, overly done. It's just over with, yo. And it could be an Aquarius or someone of that sort. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they just don't. They they don't want to. They don't want to be without you. They don't. They don't want to you to be by yourself to this situation here. They don't want you doing things alone or on your own, and they just feel like you got to be. With them. Who the fuck does that? Like, feels like you're, you know, sometimes it's good to sit back and see if someone can collect their own strength. But, you know, sometimes a person could be afraid of you being stronger than them. And that's that's what this is looking like. Like someone is afraid of your strength um, that you have and they don't want this to be seen. It probably makes this person become weak so your strength may be someone else's weakness leo period that's what it's looking like let's see if we can get you some advice okay so your strength you being strong is making somebody else weak when really it should be in a position to where your strength should make them strong somebody should be you know people should be more happy and alert to the fact that you're coming up on your shit, that you're getting stronger by the day, but this seems like this is something instead that could be scaring someone or making them feel like, okay, well, if this person is strong, then what am I? You know, because I've been making this person look like they're weak. I've been trying to stop this person. I've been trying to keep this person in this fucked up as mental prison, trying to keep them from moving forward, trying to keep them from achieving their goals, trying to keep them from taking action into welcoming whatever newness into their life and trying to keep them from, you know, causing an ending of a fucking era that's just bound to be done with. But achievements are here for you. Victory is here for you. Justice is here for you. It's on its way, Leo. Don't worry about it because somebody did too much trying to manifest a relationship with you, trying to relate, you know, trying to keep you in a position where they felt like you couldn't do shit without them. And this is getting, this is, this is coming to a stop. So let me go ahead and get this shuffled. 
just kind of bothers me a little bit to see that. I just can't stand that energy. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Because if, if, if you took that same amount of energy to put in working with someone, then maybe they wouldn't leave or walk away from a situation. And it's kind of fucked up that people will wait until the last minute to say, okay, hold on. Let me, you know, what can I do to save this? You know, what could you, what could you have? Uh, Mercury retrograde is coming in, so ignore it. But what could they have done differently to prevent this from happening in the first place? You know what I'm saying? But people don't look at it like that. Instead, they look at it. Somebody may want some type of material wealth and prosperity from you as well. Somebody may feel like they're like, I said, not getting a piece of the pie. Fish don't fry in the kitchen. Things don't burn on the grill. Took a whole lot of terrain just to get up that hill. Now we're all in the big lead. Ain't no turning back. Okay, moving on up. Okay, somebody moving up into a situation. Somebody could actually be um, collecting a union or a partnership with someone else and someone cannot stand that energy as well so if you're about to get into a new relationship you probably have an ex that's watching and lurking in the background on some other shit and they watching you come up and they are not liking this shit at all thank you for your wisdom guidance and understanding here let's go ahead and see if we can get you some advice or motivation here we go oh shit now, it's not that often that advice fly off the table before it even hit the table, but you got illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. You got every reason to celebrate, every reason to be um, enlightened and, and finally seeing something for what it is. Yes. Yo. Oh, my God. Somebody does not want you to reap what you sow. Somebody does not want you to get your fruitation, your abundance to a situation here. Someone is really stretching this nine someone is really trying to stop this from reaching a completion in your life here leo you're being told that you could be dealing with some type of dual energy this could be a twin flame energy this could be someone that's trying to pretend to be a twin flame as well but you're being brought to peace with change on this situation especially because of this last final stretch to a situation don't worry about the fact that they're trying to take your joy away because they're really just snatching it from themselves and not even realizing it fuck them pumpkin patch pumpkin is here i don't know what it is about a pumpkin maybe i need to research a pumpkin <laughs> but um i do feel like some of you could definitely be dealing with a aries here and i do feel like some of you just it's time for you to take charge of a situation whether it's your emotional status build you know get you get some strength behind your emotions i'm being told get out your fucking feelings or whoever this is needs to get out of their fucking feelings because the cycle is not going to stop because they're trying to stop it or you're not going to stop someone leo if this is you so i'm going to go ahead and end this reading thank you for taking out the time to rock with your girl. Like, subscribe, and share to the channel. I'll holla at you, Leo, all right?